you guys good morning i'm getting ready for work right now um my brows look crazy so i did i did my hair last night and actually i did it this morning i don't know why i said last night i tried to do it last night but it didn't work out like that so i ended up doing it this morning and i feel really weird with hair like i haven't had hair in so long it feels weird almost um so but yeah i just wanted to do like a little get ready with me this morning while i talk with y'all about um i don't know what i want to talk about this morning i'm just i kind of like i woke up feeling away i'm not gonna lie like i woke up feeling away i told my manager like hey i'm gonna be a little bit late to work today because you know i just needed like a wellness morning like <laughs> I really just needed like a little a morning just to get my just to get my thoughts together because like I know I'm feeling away this morning and I don't know if it's because I gotta do my hair quick actually I'm like taking my time no I gotta do my hair quick this morning because I gotta go and then I got a client later on tonight when I get off of work so it's gonna be a long day for me so I just wanted to take like a couple hours and just have some some a couple hours to myself this morning to just be able to kind of like arrange my thoughts you know and pray a little bit talk to god about this month and you know what i want to do for myself this month how i want to prepare myself for my business and really just align my thoughts because a lot is happening that's new for me in my life right now and i'm trying to kind of like process everything so i'm realizing like you know, we as people, we just kind of like always want to to control everything and have like a say so in everything. And, you know, if you're a believer and you believe in Christ, you're supposed to cast your, your worries on him and allow him to take care of them. And you enjoy your life. You enjoy, you know, having peace with the things that God said that he would take care of. So I kind of have to keep my peace in that and not in the things that I'm trying to worry about. So I just woke up this morning like, oh my gosh, like, you know, I'm trying to do like this, this, and this, and I'm trying to worry about all these different things. And I'm like, girl, like, just, you know, just try and arrange your thoughts, you know, take a couple, take some time off. I literally feel like I just been moving, moving, unpacking. I'm still not all the way unpacked. Clearly my room still looks like crazy i am going to do a room tour when my room gets all the way like you know together and in order and i'm not embarrassed to show y'all what my room looks like so look forward to that but yeah i was just like you know i just need to take like a wellness morning i really i'm not feeling like myself like my nails aren't done like look at my nails and a lot of that has to do with my work because i color wigs all day so i'm constantly having my hands and color hair color and chemicals and stuff so i don't you know want to put my nails that i get and pay money for and you know mess them up with hair color because somehow i already i had got color on my toenail and I, that's gel on my toes. So, you know, getting, it can come off, but it's just like, why even do all of that? Um, so yeah, I was just like, you know, I can't pray about these things that I'm worrying about and then turn around and worry about it. Like once you pray about it, you give it to God, you have your peace and you will go, he wants you to go and enjoy your life and not worry about the things that you are like trying to you know, fix in your mind. I was watching Joyce Meyer the other day and she said, worrying is trying to come up with a solution for the things that you can't control. So all you're doing is worrying because you're trying to give yourself a solution when you really can't because it's out of your control. So why even put yourself through that stress to worry about it? And I was like, that is such a good word. Like, that's such a good word because worrying is not doing anything it's, it's not making it any it's not adding anything to your life it's not sustaining you it's not you know it, it, you're just putting yourself in unnecessary like stress so that's what I was thinking about I'm like okay like that's that's absolutely right like you're absolutely right about that like all you're doing is just worrying because you're trying to come up with a solution in your mind when you already like 
prayed about it. And if you didn't pray, you need to pray. But if you already prayed about it and you're still worrying, like you're not allowing the universe, you're not allowing God to do what he is supposed to do for you. You're just worrying. So you're kind of like undoing your prayer. You're undoing your faith. So, but I mean, you know, as a human, you can't help but think like, okay, I got all this on my mind. All my calendar is full. Like, I need to have time to do this, this, and this. Like, I'm over here thinking, like, okay, I need to call these ticketing people because I didn't send in the application in time for them to, um, I didn't send the application in time. These people keep emailing me. So, I'm just like, you know what? But instead of, like, taking time out to worry about all of that because I'll deal with it when I can, I'm going to just, you know, worry about the things that I can control. So, that's just what I was thinking about this morning. I'm like, why are you worrying so much? And it's not even, like, I wasn't, like, worrying. But it was more so, like, just, like, overthinking. And I'm like, why are you overthinking, like... What is it that, you know, ooh, I don't like this one. These ain't the right ones. Ooh, I forgot I had these ones. I always get this little hair that comes out of my chin, and I always have to pluck it, and it's so annoying. It's so annoying. Mind you, it is past... It is past August 1st, and I still haven't did renewed my um, registration, so I'm driving around with expired or an expired registration. <laughs> but that's okay. Like, that's, it's just going to have to be okay because I'm not, I can't, I can't do it all. Like, I'm not a superwoman. And I also think that I want to take a vacation. Like, before the summer fully ends, I'm like, I definitely need to take a vacation because moving is very, like, whew. I'm so tired of moving. I'm over it. Like, moving is just way too much. On top of the fact that I feel like this summer has went by really, really fast. Like, I'm, I blink and it's August, which means September is right around the corner, which means Christmas is, like, in three weeks. Um, Like, that's really how it be. I like these little girls. Okay. My whole schedule is like thrown off, so I'm somewhat like I'm like getting there as far as like unpacking. But my schedule is like all the way thrown off because now I'm like I haven't been working out, and so like you know when you like don't work out and it kind of like throws off your whole like everything. Like it throws off your mood, like it throws off your schedule. So I'm like okay, like I think I'm gonna start back next week. Or even this weekend, I think I'm going to start back working out. Because I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, I find that you're in a much better mood when you, like, work out. So, I'm like, everything is kind of, like, thrown off right now. And it's throwing me off. I like these girls. Y'all, don't... This lace... Okay, so this hair was from... I had did a video on this hair like a while ago so this is not no and it looks bad like the lace is trash clearly but I'm gonna have to like just work some magic I honestly just really wanted to get my hair like a, a break it needs a break and I need a break from it because it was driving me crazy it's, it's just I have to color it every three days and I'm like I don't feel like doing that so and plus I miss my hair like I miss having hair so, I was like, let me just switch it up. By the end of August, like, I want to definitely get on the roll with rolling out my business. At least having, like, my business plan in order. And rolling out, like, all of my social medias for my business. My branding, my logo, like, stuff like that. Like, just, like, the behind the scenes. As far as, like, my website and everything, I know that's going to take a while. And I really don't want to rush that. And I really don't want to rush, like the quality of my inventory and all of that because that I feel like is what matters most it's like the quality and um you know just like the quality really really matters I might put on some, some concealer but I also gotta go because it's 11 11 but yeah they say like after like the little honeymoon phase I guess with your business like you definitely need to like 
remember your why because when it starts to get hard you'll start to be over it and if you don't remember your why it, you just gonna be like you're gonna be over it so that's what i think i'm gonna be putting into place and focusing on for this month um and then i think definitely by like the end of september i'm hoping that i can kind of like have everything rolled out and going and flowing and growing glowing flowing and growing you know that's my little that's my little slogan so yeah y'all that's pretty much what's, what i'm what is about to be given this month um i'm gonna keep on with like the weekly vlogs because i honestly like the weekly vlogs as opposed to just one full day of vlogging because some days i don't be feeling like i don't always be feeling like vlogging on um at, like every single sunday like i usually like before I was just vlogging on my off days, which is Sundays and Tuesdays. But now I'm like, okay, like I kind of like this weekly thing because you can get different clips and glimpses of like what I'm doing throughout the week. So I think that's cool because I'll be doing like different little stuff here and there or when I have time or when I can make time, you know, that it, it just makes it better. It's more intriguing. So I think I'm going to stick with this like weekly vlog thing. And then I'm going to definitely try to roll out, like, a second video a week of me maybe doing, like, beauty content or, you know, like, just little fun stuff, you know, like, getting to know me um, and taking my channel in, like, that type of direction. Because I don't want it to just be vlogs. I've been noticing, like, I've only been doing vlogs. But, like I was telling y'all, like, that's pretty much what I only, only thing I got for you right now because y'all know my life is kind of, like, in an uproar right now. So... You know, as I deal with things, um, my content will start to kind of shift and change and go in the direction that I want it to. But for now, this is just what it's about to be given. So, ouch. No, I for real burn myself. Okay, y'all, don't look at my room, but we gonna get there. <laughs> There you go, I'm late for work. They be killing me with these motherfuckers. You know damn well. They don't cost no two dollars. No damn game. They be promoting. Y'all, when I tell you it is like, bruh. It's been a day. It's been a day. It's been a day. And I'm so glad that it's over. Seriously. I'm glad that it's over. I can't see myself. Let me see. I know that I don't make things clear. I fall for you every time I try to resist. We can get away. I'm just this feel feeling every day. All I want to hear is an everything that we play. Sitting next to you.
getting ready for work. Oh, I hate when you can see like the hot comb, like where it was. Like that's not cute. I'm really, really liking these like messy beach waves. It's not the quickest because clearly you saw me just doing this um, for like at least 20 minutes or so. But it's it's still a nice look. I think for like going out, it's cool. Um, but I just, I think also because I've just been wearing my hair like short, I think I forgot how you have to like actually wake up and prep your hair before you leave out. So. Oh, I forgot I put watermelon in here last night. I'm like, what are these red chunks? <laughs> what are these red chunks? But it's not, I had watermelon. I put watermelon in my cup because I didn't feel like it, um, making a dish. I realized I didn't put on no deodorant this morning. Y'all know every since, I'm not going to lie, every since um, I went pescatarian and more of like a plant-based lifestyle, I have noticed that I haven't really needed, I especially don't need deodorant like in the winter months, but more so like in the summer months or of course because I work out like I use the deodorant more because that but I noticed like as soon as, soon as like I switched over which I switched over in 2017 to more of a plant-based lifestyle but I noticed immediately that I didn't need deodorant so I usually maybe put it on like three times a week but it is summer so I am putting it on more I be moving a lot working you know doing stuff so I put it on a lot more I thought that was interesting okay so let me oh so this morning i woke up and this is what i woke up to remember i was telling y'all like okay i'll tell you what happened yesterday i'll tell you because i was just like i just wanted to go to sleep but i wake up and i get i get a notification that i can't show the name but i get a notification so okay let's talk about it okay so Cause I'm just like, okay. Okay y'all, I am back. Sorry, I had to, um, we share parking. We share parking and um, I had to move my car with my roommate. So I'll tell y'all about that later. But I'm like, I'm trying to hurry up and get ready and leave out in like 15, 20 minutes and eat breakfast. So let me just tell y'all this quick little story time of what happened last night. So you saw the review that this lady left me. So okay um let me just tell you about the client before i'm trying i'm trying to do my makeup too but so okay so this lady found me i think she found me like on instagram or something and she pretty much um that is not okay i need that to stay down she pretty much booked her daughter who is in a netflix series um is it Netflix or is it like an actual show? It's the the show P Valley. I don't watch that show, but um, she stars on that show. Like you know, she plays in that show. So I'm like, okay, cool. She wants me to do her daughter's makeup. I mean, not her makeup. She wants me to do her daughter's hair. Um, and she was getting a sew in, a partial sew in. So I'm like, okay, cool. Like you know, fine. So honestly y'all and it's crazy because something i just wanted to cancel this appointment like i don't know why but like i'm honestly getting ready to take this the that service off because it's 2021 like i don't want to do partial sew-ins or i barely want to do sew-ins like i don't if it's not a wig child or a closure like i don't really want to be dealing with natural hair and you know what i'm saying like come on now like we're in california it's hot you know what I'm saying? On top of the fact that so anyway, let me just let me start there. Like she booked a she booked a partial sew in and <clears throat> she was sending me pictures. I'll show you the pictures. She sent me these pictures as a reference to show me that this was well this picture. She show, she sent me this picture. Now this picture is a full lace wig. As you can see in this picture, this is a full lace wig. This is like it's a full lace wig it's not um any like a, a traditional sewing where it's like leave hair left out with my with my sew out with my sew-ins she wanted she booked a partial sew-in so with the partial sew-in you do a perimeter hair out 
hair at the top for the leave out perimeter around the edges and a little bit in the back and maybe on the sides depending on how often you know you're going to be pulling up your hair so um, i made sure that i communicated with that with her about on that you know i do have service details on my website as far as you know like what to expect for each service but i you know because she sent me this picture of what clearly is a full lace wig and not a traditional sew-in i thought that you know let me just let her know like okay well you booked the sew-in and she won't have hair left out if your hair is not up to the standards of a leave out meaning you don't you don't treat your hair you don't condition your hair you don't moisturize your hair you don't hydrate your hair properly you're not doing masks you're not doing any type of treatments you're just getting weaves and getting weaves and you're not getting trims you're not taking care of your hair it will show and it will show and it showed so i you know i do her hair you know during the you know she was real nice real cool or whatever i'm trying to find a, a um sharpener for my curl pencil so I'm doing her hair, you know, we're watching TV, watching movies, you know, and so I'm nearing to done time and I'm looking at her hair and I'm like, sis, like, I don't know how. And she wanted it silky, sleeky straight. Okay. Now, I'm not going to lie. I, natural hair, you know what I'm saying? I'm not the best at it, but I feel like I'm good with like, I can at least, you know, blend it and blow it out. You know what I'm saying? Blowouts, yeah, but at least press it down to smooth it out to a point where it can be manageable to to do a so like to blend in. So I'm finishing her hair and I'm like, listen, like I'm showing her. Literally, I'm showing her with my hands. I'm like, do you see all of this so that she could see it? She was sitting across the room and she was like, yeah, I can see that those are split ends. She has split ends up her hair the length of my finger and maybe a little bit longer maybe to about this like finger right here so all of that to this finger was split ends and so i'm like baby you got a good five inches of of of, of split ends it's damaged all like in your hair so how are you expecting me to be able to you know magically blend this when all you when i and then you want it silky straight how um and so, you know, you know, I'm telling her mom, like, you know, I think I, like next time she definitely needs to get her hair trimmed before she gets any type of style that's going to require like maintenance of her natural hair and leaving her hair out. So she's like, well, you can cut her hair. Um, she's like, you can cut her hair, whatever you need to do for it to be manageable so that I don't have to do any because she's going to um, film on this Saturday. So I'm like, okay, you know, fine, you know, cool. So I cut a good two inches. I cut about, you know, maybe like this much off and it was still like not blending. So I'm like, I need to go up a little bit higher, but I'm not about to sit here and cut this girl's hair. Like, no, baby, you need to like, you need a like a moisturizing treatment. You need something. And. I don't like. I don't want to keep putting heat on her hair. So okay, her mom is like drinking wine or whatever. So I don't know. If she's like a little bit lit, and she just, she was just like, so what are you saying? Like you know, and I, you know, and mind you, right now I'm not working in a salon where I'm taking clients. I do a lot of freelancing. So my last salon that I was working in, where I was taking clients, I did. I'm they they have a new owner now and i've been communicating with the owner because i need to go back to that salon to get some of my stuff but i wasn't you know i'm not taking clients there right now so i offered to come to her house so i'm at her house doing her daughter's makeup and you know then you know, so yeah i told her i'm like you know i already cut off a comfortable amount she needs more cut off but i'm not about to sit here and cut her hair off like i'm, I'm not I, I didn't come here for that like if this is a service that you wanted, you needed to send, like, her hair is not blending, and you want this silky straight look, and I, I can't, like, I can't, I'm sorry, and she's just like, well, other stylists, um, have been able to blend her hair comfortably, and you're showing me styles that are, like, curled, so I'm like, yeah, of course you can blend it when it, when the hair is curled, you're able to camouflage the flyaways and the split ends a little bit better, and so, if if it's not like 
if it's if you want it to be silky straight, it's not gonna blend as well because it's straight. And she wanted it straight, like she was set on having it straight. Cause I asked her, like maybe I could like curl it or you know do it a different way so that it'll kind of blend a little bit better. And she was like, no, like she wants it straight like that picture. And I'm like, well, baby, this is a, a full lace wig. Like this is not no leave out. This is not no traditional. This is like a full weave. You know what I'm saying? Like this is not any natural hair left out at all. Um, and the pictures that she has showed me with the with the leave out being blended. They were all curled. Her hair was curled. So I'm just like, I don't know what type of miracle you think I'm about to perform here. But baby, I don't got it in me. And it is nearing 11 o'clock at night. I got over there at 6.45. 7 o'clock. And I'm finishing up at 11. And I'm tired. I didn't work the full shift. And you, her hair is not blended. And it's not working. So she's just like, um, you know, starting to kind of like get smart. And I'm just like, why is it that we have to like respond like this? Like, I understand you're frustrated. You want her hair to look a certain way. But I don't know what type of wand you think I can pull out of my ass and wave and it be done. I, I can't. Like, if I was Harry Potter, of course. I would love to just wave my magic wand and her hair look like the picture. But baby, you don't got that type of hair where it's gonna look like that, okay? I did as much pressing, I pulled out the hot comb, I pulled out the flat iron, I pulled out the got to be molding, everything. And it looked, you know, it just was not blending. So I'm just like, on top of the fact that the hair that she had was honestly trash. Like, I don't know where, what hair, child, I don't know where she found this hair, but I wasn't, the hair was just trash. I don't, I didn't like the hair. So I'm like, you know what, okay, like, I don't know really what you want me to do here, but, you know, and the fact that she started trying to get smart with me and, like, she started being like a bitch. So I was just like, you know, I don't, now I'm just not really, like, I don't really respond well to that. Like, either you're going to be respectful because I'm over here trying my best to press this girl hair out and it's not blending with the weave. Um, so I'm just like, you know, I offered you to be able to like do a different style so that it'll blend a little bit better and that's not what you want to do so I don't want to keep adding heat to her hair clearly we are in a season we not in a season clearly we are in times where people love to compromise like they don't care that we're gonna compromise our hair health in order to get this style that we want and bit that's about to cuss and that's why I don't have edges now because I was that same way I was that same way when I was younger I always I didn't care what it was gonna do to my hair I just wanted that style and that's not that's not good like we why are we like that it should not be like that so I'm just like that to me it it really made me feel away so after that um you know after she was just like well I'll just have to get somebody else to do it because I'll have to get somebody else to try and blend her hair um, because this has never been a problem before and, you know, blending her hair has never been a problem. Well, it's a problem for me. I'm sorry. And I'm trying not to be, you know, I, I'm not giving her none of this, honestly. I'm giving you this because y'all my subscribers, so y'all know, like, y'all know my... Y'all know my personality, but with her, I was I remained very neutral, very professional. I didn't give her no neck rolling, no attitude. Even though it was 11 o'clock at night, I'm just like, you know, usually I'm in my bed, and I would think that, you know, you know, people don't care. So, uh, I was just like, so, don't look at my sponge. But, yeah, I'm just like, well, I don't really know, like, too many other options. Like, I don't know what you want me to do. She need, I, honestly, I recommended her to get a closure if you because it's 2021 i mean if she she was like well she's been wearing weaves since she's six years old you know she's she's in the industry she's in the filming and industry um so she's an actress so you know i get it but at the same time i'm just like honestly you shouldn't be compromising her hair just for this like you should find another solution i, I recommended her to do a closure because i'm like with the closure you don't have to worry about any type of leave out and she's just like well i don't want it to look too wiggish and i'm like yeah i get that like but you know you either gonna like have it look nice um and you not have to because she was worried about her you know her hair you know as natural hair it will 
poof back up and it'll become like real frizzy you know our hair is very very sensitive to humidity and moisture and heat and all of that trust me before i shaved my head like i was natural and my hair you know what i mean like i know so i knew that struggle and that's why i never really wore my hair because it you know so i left feeling defeated i felt like you know i did everything i could and i felt like that wasn't good enough for her she just kind of started to be like an asshole to me and so that's when i started to like get my stuff and just leave because i'm like well i'm not gonna you know be disrespected and i'm not gonna you know what i'm saying like i'm not gonna be sit here and be disrespected after i tried to go out of my way to come over here after work i could have canceled the appointment i didn't and that was her thing she was just like you know it's so hard finding hairstylists in la because we were we're both from the east coast she's from north carolina and I'm from Maryland. And I was like, yeah, that was like a main thing. Like moving here, everybody, they always say like it's hard to find people who do hair that are reliable. She was saying like a lot of the stylists, you know, had previously like canceled on her. Um, they canceled on her or they didn't show up or, you know, they just were unprofessional. So I'm just like, you know, I get it. Like I understand that struggle. But it kind of like it, it pissed me off a little bit i'm not gonna lie because i'm just like you know i get it but i understand also like when you want your hair a certain way and you're expecting it to look that way or you have somewhere you're trying to go and then your hair don't turn out i know i would be pissed off too but at the same time your expectations have to match your circumstances if your circumstances don't match your expectations then your expectations are there you're going to be disappointed and that's she was disappointed and i'm just like ma'am you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to take better care of her hair. She got these split ends. Like, and I get it. When we are getting <clears throat> weaves or protective styles or braids, you know, our hair isn't going to always be in the best, in the best condition because we just, we just slap on weaves and we just go. We don't care about our hair and moisturizing and conditioning and doing hair treatments, masks and getting our daily trims. You know, we just worried about slapping on whatever just to get it out of our way because dealing with natural hair is so it's it's really a lot so i get that and i'm, I'm trying to understand it from her point of view but i just like i don't know y'all like i don't know if i want to do hair anymore like i don't honestly i might just just say like i'm just not gonna do hair anymore or just do just limit it only to um just limit it only to wigs and full weaves like no traditional so because i don't have time to be sitting there trying to create a miracle so i thought i'd just tell y'all like that little bit of tea and what happened with that because it was too much so yeah but let me go ahead and finish getting ready and i'm gonna tap back in with y'all a little bit later no, I don't do crosswords. Sell you in a ready like them hot girls. Okay, because this truck is my. Man, no, I ain't trying to get. I'm not even monetized. So the goal is to get monetized and then we can not get demonetized. Okay? But I can't be demonetized if I'm not even monetized. Period. Um. Anyway, so yeah, y'all. Let me put this open. So I can have a little bit of sunlight because I'm under this tunnel. Uh, I ain't say open. Anyways, so I'm on my way to work. I am in this freaking traffic. Throwing me off. But happy Friday. Anyway, so to pick up off of happy Friday. To pick up off back where I was saying because I was like, okay, I got to get ready. What do you guys think that I should do? Like, or what would you have done differently? You know, I was telling you how I offered to do a different style for her. You know, maybe curl it so that I could, you know, blend her hair a little bit better with the weave. What would, or what should I have done? Let me get over real quick, sir. Thanks. And now, sir, you trying it. What would you have done differently? Like, if you're a hairstylist, I want you to comment below and tell me if this has ever happened to you before. I mean, I know it probably has because we all have, you know, these these problems sometimes with clients or, you know, we just don't get it right. 
but you know i left feeling really defeated and um i just kind of want to know like what your thoughts and feelings are on things like this like if you ever experience something like this with a client i'm sure you have your stylist even makeup artists like we all we just go through it sometimes but it's okay like you can't you can't please everybody i definitely think that on with it i think that both of us kind of have um accountability you know she could have told me the condition that her daughter's hair was in and i could have you know i'm not a hundred percent confident in doing sew-ins i'm gonna be like completely transparent i'm not a hundred percent confident in doing sew-ins and that's okay like at least that i that i can you know admit that and be transparent however that girl's hair was in no shape form or condition to be pressed out silky smooth like the picture she sent me on top of the fact that like i said in the picture there was there was not a leave out baby no ma'am so you know i just want to know like what your thoughts are what would you have done differently if you are a stylist you know and this is something that you've experienced like what would you have maybe done differently because i felt really defeated and i kind of had to like I was like, you know what, let me just sleep on this. But then as soon as I woke up, literally she left a review. She left that review this morning. She left that review this morning. I woke up at six and then I didn't work out. I haven't worked out in all week. So I usually wake up at five and work out, but I haven't worked out all week because I'm trying to adjust and get myself together and, you know, get acclimated with like some type of um, schedule. I don't like this, but so she left it like around 7 30 because I'm, I'm and then like as soon as i you know i woke up at seven i went back to sleep i woke up at six and woke up back, and went back to sleep woke up at seven and then i saw like as soon as i opened my eyes like that was the first thing i was on my notification was she, this lady left a review and i'm like you know i really don't want to start my day like this like <laughs> where do we get off with putting other people down because you, for you to say that I was nice, but I did not meet your recommend, like I didn't meet your needs or that's fine. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like we are in such a time where we are so, we are so quick to bash one another as opposed to taking accountability for our actions. We are so quick to want to put other women down, black women in particular, like let's just be honest let's just be clear and let's just be as transparent as it needs to be we as black women are so quick to put each other down and so quick to want to come after each other and tear each other apart when baby we is all in this together we are all we got so we don't need to be trying to tear each other down i understand she was not satisfied with the service like i completely understand but and i'm not gonna say i would have done the same thing because i wouldn't have I would have mentioned, all, I, first of all, she gave me two stars, and that, mm, okay, you gave me two stars, why, okay, cool, you didn't like which, you didn't like how I did her hair, okay, cool, fine, but to give me two stars kind of pissed me off, I mean, but hey, it's your prerogative, but I would have definitely, what I would have done is, you know, I would have mentioned all the great things, and then at the end, I would have said, but she did not do what I wanted her to do. Um, she couldn't blend her hair. She couldn't blend my hair or my daughter's hair with the tracks like I expected her to. Blah, blah, blah. Like, you know what I'm saying? But she just was, it was just the quickness for me that. And, you know, I, I pondered on it. I'm praying about it. Like, Lord, what should I do? Like, should I apologize? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't. I didn't, I was never rude to her, was never nasty with this lady, like, I was, I was never rude or nasty, even when she started to get, like, snippy with me, I was like, you know, kept my tone the same, you know what I'm saying, like, because I'm never going to let somebody get me out of character, first of all, it's not ever that serious for me to ever become somebody that I'm not, or step out of character, for like, for what, you know what I'm saying, like, that's just, I'm just very, very chill and laid back. You're never going to get me out of character. It's just not happening. So, I'm not going to reach to go uh, out of my out of my character to fall for whatever it is. I guess you want a reaction. Like, I don't really know. But even throughout that, I maintain my composure. I maintain my professionalism with this lady. You know, 
and it is what it is I just don't know but to wake up to it after going to sleep on it it pissed me off and I'm like you know I just don't appreciate how we like to like tear each other down it just I don't understand it and I just think that if she would have been a little bit more I don't know because you just never know how people are going to react um especially when it comes to like black women and our hair like we don't play we do not play about our hair so I mean I get it and if you don't know what you're doing you don't know how to do hair um and you're paying somebody for a service and they're not delivering and doing what you want them to do then yeah I can understand it's very very frustrating but you know and then I did offer her solutions and she didn't want what I was offering so you know what I'm saying like on top of the fact that the hair was used the hair was used. I didn't like the hair that she used. It didn't it didn't look like it was washed, you know what I'm saying? So it just it just was a sour. It was just, you know, it could have been better, but it wasn't. I just thought I would share that with y'all cuz I woke up with that on my mind, especially after she left the review and then I also went to sleep with it and then had to wake up and see that she left a review about it. So it kind of was just like what? <laughs> but I don't know. Part of me is just like, I should reach out to her and just, you know, be very apologetic with her. I mean, it's not going to get me anywhere because she already left a bad review and she, you know, is already upset. But I'm just like, at the end of the day, maybe it'll kind of get things off my conscience and off my heart. I can know that I tried my best and that's just what it is. Like, I tried my best. I'm sorry. I couldn't deliver. But I just wanted to chop it up with y'all during while I'm, you know, on my way to work and just thinking about this whole situation. Turn me inside out, I'll make my heart beat Leave no one else if you're stay at the target Why is this a sport? All you're doing is getting the ticket and going Like, I don't I'm going to get a card for my grandfather's birthday. If you know me, you know that's my man's hundred grand. That's my favorite person in the entire in the entire universe is my grandfather. I'm hot. <clears throat> this hair is making me so hot. <coughs> Like, I forgot what having hair feel like. First of all, I feel like I look awkward. I feel like I look hella awkward with hair. Hey, y'all. So, I was able to get <clears throat> all of my wigs done. I'm not going to lie. I was kind of like, B oh, I was kind of BSing. Because I was just, I was in a good mood and I wanted to be outside. But... All in all, I got I got what I needed to get done somewhat. Sir, what is going on here? I didn't even know they had um, Best Buy. I didn't even know they had a Best Buy over here. I'm at this Target over here on La Brea. And I'm like, ooh. But no, I'm running in and running out. 
it's gonna be in and out i, I should have parked back there i knew i should have parked back there because now oh, i'm gonna park right here Bloop. but yeah y'all you know how it is going to target is kind of like dangerous oh my gosh so i saw that target alta is going to be inside target now and i'm like wow like that's really like that's big that's major oh 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 I can't be uh, on the phone. I can't be on the phone with y'all. But, yeah, so I heard that my Target is going to be um, partnering with Ulta. And Ulta is going to be inside of Target. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so good. But dangerous for our pockets. Because, can you imagine? <sighs> anyway, let me go in here. Let me go in this Target. Got this organic baby broccolini. Baby broccolini. I think I'm gonna do, I don't know if I'm gonna do that pasta or if I'm gonna do that rice. I got, oh, let me show you. I got this from T. Joe's. It's just a vegetable curry with jasmine rice. And why should I do this pasta with um let me put some water in here I'm gonna put a few pieces in there broccolini and some mushroom pasta but before i go to bed i need to do a little bit of some moisturizing on my hair because i don't know if i'm going to try and i think i, I definitely want to grow my hair out into like a little bit of like a longer version of this but i kind of want i want my hair to definitely be healthy and especially with it being like blonde like this I'm finding that I'm going to definitely have to start doing like moisturizing, hydrating, conditioning mask on my hair with it being like this platinum because I'm definitely going to keep it like this color, but I do want to grow it out like maybe a little longer, but I kind of like this length that it's at now. So y'all already know, like if you watched my story of me shaving my head and my story of me having alopecia and suffering from hair loss, then you will know that I've always had like alopecia on my edges and I've always had like balding thinning edges so I recently like before I shaved my head I decided that you know I would do like this big you know like hair growth journey on my channel but I kind of wasn't sure like how I wanted to do it but I know I definitely want to start taking more better care of my hair so before I shaved my head I got this hair growth oil this is what it is and this is a black owned company I think they're based out of Baltimore Maryland I'm not I'm not 100% sure but it is just a hair growth oil they have lots of different ingredients so it's peppermint oil rosemary castor lavender avocado coconut vitamin e argan oil grapeseed macadamia it's like a lot of different oils can you see can you see okay so yeah this is the growth oil and yeah i found them on instagram I'm not sure how I found them, but I found them on Instagram and I thought that I would give them a try. Clearly, I've already been using this oil because I'm like down to here. So I've been using it periodically, but I haven't been consistent with it to really notice like any hair growth. As you can see, I have been like shaving all of this off. So I really haven't noticed like any type of tremendous hair growth. I wouldn't notice it in this area because I've been shaving it gone. I just feel like it's either all going to grow back or it's not going to grow back and I'm just going to shave it off because it's kind of like, what's the point, you know? So 
I figured I would just start to try and incorporate this oil into my nighttime regimen, like before bed, um, and just see, like, you know, what happens. I am going to be, I don't know, I want to keep my hair short, like, I love it, but I also kind of want to grow it out a smidge longer, like a little bit of a longer pixie haircut. So, I'm going to just rub it into my skin. And I'll put their Instagram, well, if I can find their Instagram, I'll definitely tag or put them in. I'll put their info in this video if I can find it. coconut oil is nice because my hair has been feeling so dry that's the only thing like having this color is cool but it's just hella drying so but i'm gonna go ahead and rub this into my scalp and i am going ready to go to sleep I really didn't do it. I'm walking through the shadows. What is that? What is that verse? How do you say it? I'm walking through the shadow of the, the, the... I don't know, child. I'm walking through the valley. It's like, good morning! I woke up at 6 and got myself together. And it's like 6.45 now. And I'm getting ready to go to the gym. I haven't been to the gym in like so long. Because remember, I was trying to get myself. You know when you move. You know when you move, you be trying to just get, you know, settled and everything. So now that I'm a little bit somewhat more settled, I'm like, okay, I need to go to the gym. Because... I ain't been to the gym. So, good morning. Hello, hello, hello. Reporting live from my car. Oh, I gotta put my GPS on because I don't even know how to get to the gym now. Anyway, I'm gonna go to the gym. I got some stuff on the, on the agenda today. I'm going to um, go to the gym, work out and all that. Then come back, I need to start getting these boxes out of my room because I have so many boxes in my room. I'm just trying to get everything cleared out before the week starts. So I'm going to um, do that and then I'm going to the pool just to chill out and have a good rest of my Sunday. I try to enjoy the rest of my Sunday. You know, have a chill little day. So that's what's on the agenda today, y'all. We're going to see how it goes. I don't like this lighting. I don't like it at all. It's making me look ashy. Tell me inside out, I'll make my heart. 
heart's beat. Leave no one else. You're all I need. Personality. Everything you do. It's me to love. Everything I just been running errands and doing stuff all day, pretty much. You know, breaking down my boxes, taking stuff to storage, cleaning a little bit. I've been doing a lot of running around today, but you know, that's what off days are for, I guess. But now it's time for me to relax. I need to relax because, baby, it's been a hell of a week. So I'm just like, just between moving and stressing over stuff, you know, that I really shouldn't be stressing over. Oh, I am about to come across the Trader Joe's. Maybe I can stop in Trader Joe's real quick. Yeah, between all of the stuff that I've been dealing with these past couple of weeks, I'm like, I really need like a girl's wellness day. To just relax and just unwind and just have wine and mimosas and just chill by the pool soak up some sun it's going to be a vibe so i'm looking forward to it and that's what the rest of my day is going to be looking like i want a vacation like i feel like i need a vacation before the summer is over i'm supposed to be going um <laughs> Uh, is that my lace looks horrible y'all please don't just don't do me don't 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 do me with with the lace okay my lace looks bad my wig looks bad but mind your business mind your business okay i'm it's coming along it's we're gonna get it together so anyway i'm supposed to be going i might be having like a little little sneaky link you know quick trip sneaky link situation but i don't know i don't know i'm just like mm, you know it's levels to this stuff and if i'm not on that level with you to be traveling out of town with you um yeah and i'm not really on that i'm not no i'm not on that level with anybody to be going out of town with you so what is this why is this playing like Anyway, yeah, I'm not really on that level with anybody to be going, like, out of town with you. Do y'all travel out of town with people who are not? I don't. So, that's just me. Like, we're not there. We're not on them type of terms. We're not on that level. I'm not going out of town with you because I don't even know you like that. We're not, we're not there. We don't vibe like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you barely, she cute. Let me let her go. She's real cute. And she got a nice little tan. Yes, honey. She real cute. Oh my God. She looks so beautiful. I like pretty women. But yeah, like I was saying, hold on. Hold that thought. Because I got to get my stuff out this salon. I'll be right back. You know how every, we all have those like measures on our relationships with or encounters with people and you know it's real when for some or most people you know it's real when you know your significant other or your you know whoever it is that you're talking to or whatever they meet your parents that's when you know it's real but for me, when you know it's, it's you know it's real when you when I go on vacation with you. If I invite you to go on vacation with me, or I invite you to, like, I want to take a vacation, not even a vacation, but if I go out of state with you, or I go on a trip with you, it's real. Like, it's serious. So that's why I'm saying, like, I don't know because I'm not. It's not even giving. It's not giving any of that. <laughs> like, baby, we haven't even dated. So. You know, but yeah, I don't know. I'm just feeling spontaneous, so I might just do it. Cause then there's that side of me that's like hella spontaneous and just like, okay, well, it could be fun. So, and the place that we are looking at going, or the, one of the deciding factors that we're trying to decide whether we want to go, is actually been on my on my list of places or cities to go. So. I really want to go but I'm also kind of like do I want to go to this city with a guy not really it's more of like a, a city that I want to go with like my best friend me and him me and my best friend have talked about going to this city that's where we're actually supposed to take our next trip so if he find out I'm going with like a whole other nigga he's gonna be like what uh-uh my, my GPS trying to disconnect while I'm trying to drive and use it hello
Giving community rec center. <laughs> Not community rec center. Oh <laughs> Not six flags. They were fight. <laughs> Not six flags. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yo. I'm not playing. <laughs> I'll never be like this down here. I'm, I'm today. You. That's so funny. You just came today. But this time yesterday, empty. Nobody out here. It was Saturday. Sunday is like that day though. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I don't care. I work all week. Right. You just want to relax. Come out here and relax. Yeah. And vibe. So we're getting ready to go to the Laugh Factor. I wasn't. Oh, I didn't know that we were going. And now I got a whole outfit. Look, y'all. They gave me a whole outfit. Well, I already had myself. She just gave me this little shirt. It's so cute. Okay. Outfit of the night. I don't know about the sunglasses yet, but we'll see. Lit, lit. Sunday fun day. I like this rug. My feet are like so, so dry. Don't judge me, y'all. Sunglasses, though. Hey, y'all, we on the way to the live factory or whatever. I don't know why my ass look like this. It looks crazy.